During the recent test flight of SpaceX's Starship at the Boca Chica facility, the biggest rocket ever made, things didn't go as planned. The spacecraft, built for future Mars missions, took off from the launch pad, but unfortunately exploded mid-flight. Before the launch, a lengthy bureaucratic battle took place over the rocket's environmental impact, considering factors like endangered birds, historical monuments, exhaust emissions, and construction noise. Surprisingly, the Federal Aviation Administration failed to anticipate the impact of dust, resulting in a significant amount of sand and ash-like particles being kicked up into the air. The launch also caused heavier debris to spread further than anticipated. Now local residents and researchers are working together to evaluate the effects on health, habitat and wildlife, particularly endangered species. What were the consequences of the recent SpaceX Starship test flight? And why did the FAA ground the SpaceX's Starship prototypes? Stay tuned to find out! SpaceX, the pioneering space company led by Elon Musk, embarked on an ambitious project to develop an extraordinary spacecraft called Starship. The goal was to make space travel better by creating a reusable spacecraft. Musk called reusability the holy grail of space travel, reducing costs and making it accessible to more people. On April 20th, SpaceX had a big plan to launch the Starship spacecraft and Super Heavy Booster into orbit. It was supposed to be an exciting event, but unfortunately things didn't go as planned. Just less than four minutes after liftoff, the prototype launcher was lost. It was a significant setback for SpaceX, and the consequences were quite dramatic. The explosion created a massive crater under the launch stand and sent debris flying high into the sky above SpaceX's Texas spaceport. The force of the liftoff was so powerful that people in Port Isabel, Texas, about six miles away from SpaceX's starbase, felt the ground shake as if there was an earthquake. It was quite a scary experience for those nearby. Now, you might be wondering why SpaceX didn't take precautions to redirect the exhaust from their large rockets. Well, it turns out they didn't have a system in place for that. Most rocket launch sites have concrete trenches to redirect the energy away from the pad and use water to protect the area. But SpaceX didn't have those preparations, so when the explosion happened, debris was thrown up and the launch pad suffered severe damage. In contrast, if you look at a picture of the Space Shuttle back in 2009, you can see it sitting above a flame trench. This setup helps redirect the energy and minimizes damage during launch. It's unclear why SpaceX didn't use a similar setup for its Falcon rockets. After the explosion, SpaceX faced several challenges. The Federal Aviation Administration FAA, the agency that oversees space launches, launched an investigation into the incident. They wanted to understand what went wrong, assess the environmental impact, and ensure the safety of nearby residents for future launches. SpaceX and the FAA have had a complicated relationship in the past. The FAA has imposed strict regulations and safety measures on SpaceX, which sometimes caused launch delays and setbacks. Before the Starship launch, the FAA granted preliminary approval, but they required SpaceX to complete 75 steps to protect the environment. These additional measures made the process of obtaining the final license longer, showing that the FAA is serious about minimizing environmental impact. To make matters more challenging, SpaceX had a previous run-in with the FAA in August 2022. They violated an FAA safety rule, and as a result, the FAA proposed a fine of $175,000. The current investigation into the Starship explosion's causes is uncertain in terms of duration, but it could potentially last several months. During this time, SpaceX's Starship program will be put on hold. Despite these regulatory challenges, SpaceX has achieved significant milestones. They recently acquired a second rocket launch complex at Vandenberg Space Force Base in California. This new launch site gives them more space to handle their busy launch schedule and puts them in a strong position for future space launch programs. The new launch complex at Vandenberg Space Force Base allows for launches in a southern trajectory over the Pacific Ocean. 
This trajectory is often used for various purposes, such as weather monitoring, military operations, or even spy satellites that rely on polar Earth orbits. Meanwhile, there's some good news for the Starship program. The Mechazilla chopstick system and ship quick disconnect arm, which was initially thought to be damaged, have been tested and found to be operational. This is great news because the success of the Starship program depends on rapid orbital launch rotations with reusable rockets. As SpaceX moves forward, they are working on repairing the damaged launch pad and learning from the explosion to improve future Starship designs. Elon Musk shared on Twitter that they are developing a massive water-cooled steel plate to be placed under the launch mount. While it wasn't ready for the recent test flight, it is expected to be a significant upgrade that will help prevent similar incidents in the future. Despite the challenges they face, SpaceX is determined to overcome them. They have several launches planned, including Starlink satellite launches, Falcon Heavy launches and communication satellite launches. These upcoming missions demonstrate their commitment to pushing forward and achieving their goals. The effects of the Starship explosion and the ongoing FAA investigation have implications beyond just the Starship program. NASA, for example, have expressed concerns that the delayed Falcon Heavy launch could affect the schedule of flights to the International Space Station ISS, including a private astronaut mission. SpaceX, NASA and Axiom Space are currently in discussions to determine the best launch date for the mission. Now, the big question on everyone's mind is when will the Starship launch again? Elon Musk estimates that it could take one to two months to get the launch site ready. However, it's crucial to conduct a thorough engineering analysis to understand what went wrong and ensure the launch infrastructure is repaired properly. SpaceX also needs to regain FAA approval before they can resume launches. If SpaceX can succeed in its future Starship launches, it would be a game-changer. The Starship's reusable design has the potential to significantly reduce the costs of space travel, making it more accessible to a wider range of people and organizations. This affordability could open doors for ambitious projects like space tourism and colonization efforts. Additionally, a successful Starship launch would solidify SpaceX's position as a leader in the commercial space industry. It would inspire more private investments in space exploration and foster healthy competition among other companies. Ultimately, the race to develop better, more efficient and cost-effective space technologies would benefit all of humanity.